everyone. Thanks for clicking onto my channel. Today we're working on a project. A project that I've been thinking about for a long time. We're going to build an ice fishing shack. So I do take my uh, winter hot tent with me ice fishing when I go myself, but I'm thinking that I'd like to build a bigger one so my family can come, my dad can go with me, have my little heater in there, my little buddy heater. So the idea that I have, I hope it's going to work. So come along with me today and I'll show you what I'm thinking. First off, the ideas I have for the hose that I cut, it's a garden hose. So this is going to be the bottom of the ice fishing shack and the bow of the tent pole. I need it to fit into an area that's going to hold them. So let's start out with this first. I'm going to duct tape these to the pole that's going to be running along the bottom of the ice fishing shack. Once we get it all together, you'll see the idea that I'm trying to do. Okay, we're going to work over on my bench where I don't have to be bending over. Here's one tent pole. We're going to attach the hose at the end of this tent pole. So let's do that now. Once we get the first layer of duct tape on, it'll be in position. I didn't want to go heavy with stuff for equipment for this um, ice fishing shack, so I'm using light materials because I'll be pulling this on my little sled that I have. All right. So there's the idea. There's one at one end. Now we'll attach another one to this end. Make sure it's on the same side as you attach the other one at that end. So that one is attached to that end. Okay, I'll show you what I'm trying to accomplish. So here's the two ends with the hose attached. And I have my other tent poles that will bend into those hose pieces. So let's see if we can make this work. So, one end into there. So, I'll show you what I'm trying to accomplish here. Of my poles are in each end of the hose that I attach. You'll see, I'll show you there. So, right now, the tent poles are pulling apart because uh, they're attached with stretchable string. So I'm going to tape them together. Now, I don't know if I want it this big. I may take a couple of notches out. So let's see. Maybe there. Try that. 
I'll show you what I'm doing now. So see how these pull apart when I attach the pole that goes overhead, they pull it out. So I'm gonna duct tape them so they don't pull apart. one and we'll duct tape this one. Okay, this should work now. Put one in this end. saying I don't think I want it that high so let's take one out and see how high that is all right that seems to be perfect that's the height the I'm watching that's a perfect height right there for for the ice shack all right so there's one end into the hose end pieces, just like that. So there's one end. So we're going to do the same for the other end. Looks like it may work. All right, we're going to do the second pole, putting on the hose pieces. put in here. Two poles that I did for the same height, same roundness. Let's bring this one in. Check it out. And they seem to be perfect. Okay, there we go. There's our two ends of the ice fishing shack. I have to put the tarp through first. So I'll show you what I mean about that. Already duct taped a loop to feed the tent poles through. So I've already did that. I did that earlier just to see how it would work. So let's feed the the tent pole through first, and then I have to cut a hole and add the bar that goes across. So I have the one end 
in the tarp. So now I'm going to lay it out and see how long and crossed I need to cut. So I have the tarp laid out and this is the pole that goes across the top. So we're going to see the length that I need. So right about here's where I'll cut it. So yeah, I'll leave enough so I can flip under and duct tape so the pole will go through. So we are going to probably right about here's where I'll cut it. That looks good there. I want it to be good and tight though. So let me see that again. Read about there. Okay, I'm gonna cut that all the way along. Time to cut. I got a pole going across to see where I need to cut it. All right. Some extra tarp. Now we're gonna fold it under and duct tape it for a little passageway through for the tent pole. So I'm just going to make sure it's the exact size that I need again. Together. All right. Perfect. When I put all that underneath, it'll be exact size I need and it will be good and tight. Pull this little part over and duct tape it all the way up. this sets up. Now it's just an idea I had so let's see if we can make it work. so it stays. I don't have uh, anybody here to hold it for me. So we'll just do good old duct tape to hold it there. Oh. All right, let's put the other side in. Across, it will hold. Now that I have all the tent holes going through, I put it all together and I cut. You can use wood for this. I opt to use cardboard because I want it to be light. So I have cardboard cut to the size and shape of the tent poles and I covered it with industrial strong garbage bags. So 
it's wet and protected. So now what I'm doing is zip tying the cardboard outline to the tent poles. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm zip tying all the way down, all the way along the bottom so it's good and secure. So let's do that. I've already put a few zip ties in. So I have a little poker that's just, I line up the tent pole with the cutout of the cardboard that I did. All through, have your zip ties ready. Now I'm going to do that all the way along the sides and the bottom. All right, I'll get back to you when I have this whole end zip tied. So this is the one side that I zip tied all the way. So that one's good and secure. So now I just put the pole that's going to go on the top just against the wall here until I get the other side cardboard on this side. Now, I went looking for cardboard, so I found a fridge cardboard box that a fridge came in, so it was plenty big enough. So here's the inside. I'm going to put, um, I'm either gonna put a window at this end or a window here on the sides. I'm not sure yet to bring some light in. So it's a good size all the way around. So it's working so far. Now I know I'll only have it for a few years, but I'm not out any money. The, the tarp was on sale for $12. Cardboard was free. All the tent poles were free. It was a couple of tents that a friend gave me and I have enough tents that I didn't need need them so I used the poles and duct tape. Now the duct tape I got at the dollar store for four dollars for the roll but I will be investing in the Gorilla all season tape. There's Gorilla tape that's good for all kinds of weather, cold weather, so I'll be, I'll be going over all the duct tape with Gorilla tape. At this end, there'll be a door. So I'll have another box that I'll cut and uh, put a door on that box. So that's what we have so far. I've cut a pole that's going to support the middle of the ice shack, but I'm going to cut a groove in the top so the tent poles sit in. So half of this post will be cut in half so the tent pole will support and sit on top. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what I mean. For the pole, I'm just going to go down a couple of inches and cut half of the pole off so the tent pole sits in. So I take my knife and I'll just go to here. With cutting it. So you can just take this the end of the pole that you cut. Make a notch. And then also on the top. I don't want to go too far because the whole pole will split. So you're just going to go to there. Then I'll get my saw and I'll cut right there and that will pop off. A little bit more and that piece will pop right off. There you go. 
So the pole's gonna sit, the tent pole's gonna sit there and that will support it. So I'm gonna do that at both ends of this pole. I've cut the notches. It's going to go the bottom and then on the top will rest on there. And then when the pole goes in the middle, it will push to stretch the tent out and the pole that goes in the middle up top will support it. So I'm going to do another pole like this for the other side. First off, you'll come to the outside of the fishing tent. So you'll see that I used clamps to clamp the, this side on. And when you come over here, I've used clamps to clamp the outer, outer sides on. This side is clamped down as well, but one side isn't clamped down because it's a movable door so you can come inside. Now we'll come in and I'll show you all the things that I've done inside. So as you can see, I have a pole on this side and I've made homemade brackets just with pieces of wood that I cut and duct tape to hold them into place. Now, I just wanted to do this light and simple. I didn't want any screws or big brackets on anything. So, you know, duct tape, you can do anything with. So duct tape pieces of wood here in the pole for the roof sits right into there. And it's all made with tent poles. Now the tent poles go through the tarp. I have a little pathway for the tent poles to go through and tent poles all the way down. The sides tie to the tent poles to make it snug. And again, on this side is homemade brackets I made and the whole pole goes all the way along and a piece of wood to hold out the sides so they don't blow in when you're sitting here. And then that side as well has a tent pole with the tarp tied down to it. Now there's just a slight wind here and it seems to be pretty good. Holding in good in the little buddy heater. So we will sit on this side here, have your holes out front. It's a perfect size. Okay, I just wanted to show you the ice fishing tent all folded up and ready to go on my sled. Now I have a long sled that I put all my equipment on and uh, pull it in the winter time. So this all folds up nice. Now I changed the zip ties to using clamps. The reason for that is because the zip ties were too tight for the tent poles. These are the tent poles that go through the ends of the ice fishing tent. So the zip ties were making it too tight to put those in and out. So I put them in first now, and then I put the clamps to hold the sides on. So everything folds up nicely. All the pieces of poles are all tied nicely together. That's the tarp of the ice fishing tent folded up. And it's very light. It's, uh, I'm actually going to weigh it all. I don't have a, how much it weighs right now, but I have pulled it on to the ice already and it's no effort at all to pull it. So there we go. Thanks everyone for watching. 
my do-it-yourself ice fishing tent.